Hello, I'm William, I'm also known as Nebula Nebula. And I'm here with lesson number one to help teach you how to uh, learn how to play a guitar. Uh, first thing you should learn though is the parts of the guitar. See, a lot of people uh, <clears throat> interested in playing a guitar but don't even know what the parts are or what they do or anything. And I'm here to help teach you in detail so you'll be a good guitar player someday. Just keep practicing. So here we go. This is my guitar right here. And we'll start off with the knob on the end. As you can see, it's right there. And that is a shoulder strap knob. That holds your shoulder strap. So when you stand up to play, you have a strap to hold you, to hold the guitar. And you'll see on this side, I don't have one. So that means that I would have to get a different kind of shoulder strap. I pass one end of it here on the knob. The other end, we go right up here, <clears throat> underneath the strings, right in here. It goes through and fasten it, and then it would go over my shoulder. So there's two kinds of straps. And I also like to mention too, that this part here is your body of the guitar. This is your whole body, back, side, front, so forth. And if you also notice, the guitar comes down like this. Not only is that for design, but it also serves a purpose. This, if you're sitting down playing, this curve here will fit on your knee. And because of this curve, it's not going to slide back and forth like this. It'll stay in place. Okay. And the next part we'll go to is the bridge. Now, my, on my bridge, I have pins right here. There's pins right here. That holds the end of the string in. What you do, you pull these pins out and put your string in, put your pin back in. That's what those are. But there's also another kind of bridge that's a little more expensive, where you just simply take your string and run it through a hole and just run it on up to the neck easier and they are nicer they are nicer now this right here is your guitar pick guard when you're playing the guitar this keeps your pick from striking the guitar itself and putting scratches on it and so forth so that's a pick guard and they come different sizes different shapes so on this right here is your sound hole Okay, now if you didn't have a sound hole in your guitar, it's not going to play very loud at all. But this does. You hit a string. The sound from that string goes into the hole instantly. It um, amplifies in there and it comes back out a lot louder. Just like a volume, turning up a volume. So that's what that's for. And up here is this is your neck, right here. That's your neck. It's called a neck, guitar neck. And that's where you have all your frets, okay? These bars here are called your fret bars, okay? That's, those are the ones where you push the string down on to make different sounds, okay? And in between the fret bars, that's your fret. It's called just the fret, right there. And these marks here, not only are they for design to make the guitar look good, it also marks your frets. Like this is marking your third fret. One, two, three. Fifth fret, four, five, and so forth. So that's what this is for. So when you're playing a guitar, these markers can help you right away where you're at. And moving along, up here, your key section. The keys are right there. These are your keys. And that's where the other end of the guitar string goes. It fastens, you wind them up on the post, on the keys, okay? That's what that's for. Now, this is your basics of the guitar. And I might add, 
that you should know your parts. Because if you should ever have to have your guitar repaired or something like that, and you don't know the parts you want fixed, it'd be a little harder, it'd be a little bit awkward. Because when the repairman goes talking to you about this and that and whatever, and if you don't know what he's talking about, so by knowing your parts, you'll know. Say you need a new guitar bar, fret bar, right here, for example. You can go in there and tell him, well, my um, um, third fret um, guitar bar is ruined. You know exactly what you're talking about, and of course you know too. So that's why it's important to at least know your parts. I might add too that a lot of people uh, interested in learning to play guitar, they start right in wanting to play right away. You can't do that. It takes time. And that will be um, in one of my lessons. So until lesson two comes out, God bless and happy guitar learning, I'll say. Not playing yet, but learning. So. See you next time.